Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain the steps you need to take to find and remove the unused apps on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. Recent research shows that on average, a person has 30 to 40 apps on their phone at any one time. But interestingly, they'll spend 89% of their time on just a small number of those apps. It stands to reason then that many apps on your phone will be unused and can be deleted to save on phone resources. To find any unused apps on your phone, we'll need to start by opening the settings app. This app is shown on screen, but if you can't see it, you can quickly find it by searching for the app in the search bar shown at the bottom of this page. It's worth noting that you may have the same search bar in a different location on your phone, but it should be visible. Let's tap on the settings app once to open it. A long list of options is then presented, but we're interested in the app setting shown on this page. Let's tap on that once to open it. A list of the apps I've recently opened is then displayed. I want to move down this page, however, until I see the option for unused apps. You'll see it tells me that there are currently 29 unused apps on my phone. Let's tap into the option to see what it means by that. My unused apps are listed on this page. These are split into apps I last opened more than three months ago. And if I scroll down a little, apps I last used more than six months ago. Moving to the bottom of the list, you'll see that if your phone recognizes an app is unused, a number of standard notifications and app permissions are removed in order to save phone battery. Returning to the top of this list, if you want to remove an unused app on this page, this is quick to do. Do take care, however, when deleting unused apps, as while some may not have been opened for a number of months, you may still wish to use them occasionally in the future. Removing them from your phone will also delete any stored login information, so if you choose to use them in the future, you'll need to reinstall the app and log in again. I'll start by finding the app I want to delete. To delete the Dance Bit app, I'll tap the small trash can icon to the right of it. A pop-up message then appears that asks me to confirm I really do want to uninstall this app. To confirm that, I'll tap once on the OK link. Your phone will then confirm that the app has been removed from your device. Using this method, you can quickly work your way through unused apps and remove them from your phone. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please do consider giving this video a like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.